in case you can't tell i am not in my house i'm on vacation we are in saint thomas oh my gosh we're here for a week and i decided we were gonna do a reading vlog together so come with me exploring saint thomas i'm gonna also tell you about the books i brought with me i did bring my kindle so i have a little bit of variety as far as what books i downloaded for the trip we'll get into that later right now we're gonna go explore a little bit it is raining we're gonna make the most of it we got cards we got the snacks and we're dressed for the occasion even if it's raining so yeah without further ado let's get into this travel vlog here in st thomas Thomas and we are going on a hike outfit of the day As you can probably tell by my lack of sitting down and explaining what I read on vacation, I need to actually talk about what I read on vacation. I really got carried away with the trip and I just decided to enjoy my time there and really unplug. I think that's very important. So I ended up not really filming too much of sit downs, 
Also, we were just go, go, go nonstop and I didn't really have enough time. It was loud outside, inside it was messy from just people everywhere. So here we are and we're finally gonna do a sit down of the two books I read on vacation, What the River Knows and Rachel Ryan's Resolutions. We're gonna talk about this one first because this is the first book I read during like the first half of vacay and this was so good. It is very underhyped, very just, I've not heard about this not heard about it at all but i saw it on owl crate and i decided to look it up on ku and it was available and it piqued my interest because it was a historical fantasy world which i really really like because i loved divine rivals and that's what this kind of reminded me of the fact that it was set in this 1800s world but the river knows this is about a girl who is living in argentina her parents are Egyptologists and they essentially just leave her with her aunts and uncles for months on end while they go gallivanting through Egypt, discovering catacombs and what have you. She gets a message one day that her parents are dead and she's so distraught. She misses them so much. She can't get her mind around the fact that her parents are gone. So she decides to embark on a ship to Egypt where her uncle awaits her because he is now her ward. She He has all of her money until she comes of age. So she's just hoping that when she gets there, he'll welcome her with open arms, even though she's only met him like once. And when she gets there, that is not the case. So this book really is about family dynamics, family mystery. We have a little bit of magic in there from the world of Cleopatra and this magic system that they kind of make up rega regarding pharaohs and things like that. So I'm not really sure. I think it was tastefully done. I don't think it was anything far-fetched. I don't think it necessarily needed to be there in order for this book to really be. I think you could have done without it, but alas, here we are. And like I said, this is a mystery okay so we have the mystery of what happened to her parents as well as the mystery of cleopatra and where is her tomb so we got two sides of that coin and then there's also a little romance blossoming here because her uncle has an assistant mr hayes i think his name is and he, they're like rivals okay he doesn't want her there she doesn't trust him because she doesn't really trust her uncle and there's this whole dynamic going on with that we had a lot going on with this book and by the end i was pleasantly surprised i feel like with ya books i'm not always surprised with endings this definitely surprised me it was so good highly recommend i gave this a four star but i could have given it a higher ranking honestly it was very very good and i want more people to read this book and it was a really nice book to read on vacay too because it was putting you in egypt right so you have the warm weather you have the shops you have the the water like the river nile and i'm reading this on a beach warm weather palm trees water the next book i read was rachel ryan's resolutions by laura starkey she is a rom-com author on ku that i found because I was looking for a rom-com also to read on vacay. I just feel like that's the perfect beach read, right? Very lighthearted, kind of witty, kind of funny, kind of cheesy, nothing too serious. That's not what I wanted on this trip. And it checked all my boxes. It also is a clean romance, so. We love that. This book was perfect. If you like Jojo Moyes and Beth O'Leary, those are two romance authors that I really enjoy and they're, I'm pretty sure, British. She's also British, Laura Sarkey, and the books take place in London and some of the humor I don't fully understand, some of the slang I don't get. If you look past that, the overall, overall story is very good and very funny, very witty, very sarcastic. Rachel Ryan is a social media agency copywriter girly and her life is just not going to plan. So she makes all these New Year's resolutions to get her life in order. She lives with her best friend in this flat. She has like a friend group. So it's her best friend, her best friend's boyfriend, and then his best friend. So it's four, four of them. And she has a history with this ex-boyfriend of hers from 10 years ago. It's a whole drama. 
Well, her company that she works for has a huge merger and they combine offices. Lo and behold, who is at her office now? Her ex-boyfriend that she has like this crazy history with and they have to work together. So there's that whole thing going on. We have also stuff going on with her friend group. So we have a workplace situation. We have this friend's relationship situation. It was really, really good. I actually wasn't expecting it to go that way. It was sweet. It, if you like friends to lovers, I think you will really like this book. And like I said, there's no spice, so. But it was a quick read. It was actually something I read on the plane back home and it, I read it in just a few hours. It was awesome. So highly recommend both of these books. And I hope you enjoyed this travel slash kind of reading vlog. Let me know what you think in the comments if you've ever been to St. Thomas. And if you want to know where I went, I will link everything in the description box. But that is going to be it for this video. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye!